When the case was called, lead counsel for De La Sky requested to amend his release and file additional documents to buttress their injunction application against the anti-LGBTQ bill. But Thadio Sori, representing the Speaker of Parliament, vehemently opposed the action by lawyer Pakusi Abedu, a position which the Attorney General Godfrey Yabu Adame did not agree with. His stance and choice of words provoked the Chief Justice Getri Tokonu's chastisement. We began this morning by my asking, when you spoke about the preliminary objection, I said, did you give a formal notice? Yes, ma'am. Hold on. Now, if I had given a formal notice, anyone would have known. But in your affidavit, you only described your opinion. No, what I found That's not a preliminary legal objection. Well, maybe it is not stated that uh, 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 stated as an opinion, but what I was stating what I found objectionable about it. And this court has also said that I don't even need that formal notice, that I can get up when it's about to move and take that preliminary objection. Trustees of the Senegal Children of All Nations. And the string of them from the court, that I didn't need Mr. Sorry, get, I, I'm, I'm not impressed by what you're doing. Very well. But I, just finish I, I, it. I'm, I'm sorry. So, it. so I'm saying that... It, it's not fair to your friend. I don't think so. In the end, his objection was dismissed by the court and an order for all the parties to file their disclosures by May 17, after which the case was adjourned indefinitely. In the suit filed by researcher Dr. Amanda Odoi, the court's caution lawyer for the speaker against the use of scandalous, intemperate language in his filed documents and ordered same to be refiled. The case was live telecasted following a letter written by the Attorney General to the Supreme Court to allow cameras during the hearing. Godfrey Yabuadami addressed concerns of delay in the hearing of the case. And that impression is, is, is always misinformed. I mean, I think this is actually one of the matters that I am having um, um, heard early. I, when I was in private practice, filed processes sometimes in June. The court, Supreme Court, will face for hearing in October and November. I mean, in fact, one of the days when one, once the process is filed, it takes about four months before the Supreme Court listens for hearing. It is always in the, the Supreme Court faces matters for hearing, taking into account the schedule of the court and the business that the court has and all that. So really, it is, there's nothing that has delayed about this matter. Lawyers for Dr. Odoi and Richard Delasca expressed satisfaction at the court's ruling. In statement of claim, he has an unfettered right to amend. And if you don't do that and the matter proceeds by the motion, you risk a very big chance. And that's what we didn't want to go through. So to us, it was a proper review and the correction were in order. Among other things, the plaintiffs are seeking a declaration to restrain the Speaker and Clerk of Parliament from presenting the bill to the President for assent. Also, an injunction against enforcing the bill, particularly the provision criminalizing same-sex relationships. Although the case has been adjourned indefinitely, lawyer and journalist Richard Delasky, as well as researcher Dr. Amanda Odoi, have a few weeks to file additional documents that they will use to firm up their documents and processes in the anti-LGBTQ suits here at the Apex Court. Lord Yudasari, TV3 News, Supreme Court.